Now we're going to talk about the Yukon Day Pack. This is a very unique design day pack and one of our top selling day packs for the fact of the way that it rides lower on your waist. We call it a mid torso uh, day pack because it puts the weight lower on your waist and into the middle of your back. What this does is takes away a lot of the restriction and weight from what you get from a normal style or traditional style of day pack. With a pack designed this way, this allows you as the hunter to be able to, to go farther and harder back into the woods for a full day hunt. The Yukon Day Pack is 1925 cubic inches. All right, now we'll talk about some of the features of the pack specifically. We have, uh, you've got three external pockets, one on the top half and then two main compartments down here on the bottom. You got one larger compartment here where you can actually fit some larger binoculars or something like that in that side. And because it rides lower down on your waist, you can actually reach around and get those binoculars out of the pack without having to take it off. You've got your main compartment up here on the top where you have an additional pocket inside where you can throw in your knives and uh, matches and things like that or even a water bladder will fit in there. Um, my suggestion is on the lower half section we have that same pocket on the inside as well which is where you want to put your water and your heavy gear and things like that down in the bottom half to keep that weight against your, against your back and low down on your waist. With that divider, we took that a step further this year and actually made that divider to where you can zip it out and turn it into one deep day pack if you need to for that extra room. On the top you've got your two cargo straps which we have and use on nearly all of our packs. What this allows you to do is it's a perfect place for your uh, rolled up jackets or even a bedroll. Um, you can add our stuff sacks and other items to that. Uh, as well as your handle for hanging in a tree stand or carrying through. You also have two additional cargo straps on the sides that you can see here that work very much like a, a normal belt or belt loop that you can undo and you can slide on one of our organizer pockets, a water bottle or something, something like that. But we also left it this way so that you could add something like a pistol or even a, a hatchet on there as well, depending on what you need for your style of hunting. Now I'm actually going to put this on so I can show you exactly how to fit this pack specifically so that it is riding where it should, lower down on your waist like a fanny pack rather than up on your shoulders like a conventional day pack. Reason for that is if you pull it up too high, you can kind of see this X pattern here, and if you get it up too high, it's going to be uncomfortable on your neck. You want to get this down low where it's supposed to be to keep the weight down low on your waist and keep it comfortable. Now the idea behind this is to put it about where your waist belt would go when you're wearing normal belt for your pants. Get the shoulders adjusted here. You have your sternum strap. Then you can see where that rides on the lower half of your back rather than up on your neck. What this does, like we talked about, is gets that weight distributed down on your waist, allowing you to draw your bow, raise your rifle, and you can see it just takes all the weight off of your shoulders as normal. Uh, one key with fitting the pack specifically as well, as you can see we have most of our packs have this D-ring on here, which you'll want to have exactly on the top of your shoulders. That means you had the adjustment in the back as well as in the front is in about the right position. With all of the options and the way that rides and the functionality of the pack, the Yukon is a hard pack to beat for a single day type of a backpack.